Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hope you guys are doing good. Okay, now we are returning from the aquarium and decided to explore what Sentosa has to offer us. Let's get started. As you can see, one day is hardly enough for Sentosa Island in Singapore. The fun attractions and activities that await here are countless, so plan as much as you can in advance. If you know what you want to do before you get here, you won't spend your time wandering and wondering. Now we are heading towards Festive Walk. This is the walkway that connects the hotels around Resort World Sentosa to the Casino and Universal Studio. There are many restaurants and shops scattered along this walkway. Some beautiful and unique features along the path as well. There is plenty to see as you walk around and do keep in mind that themes keep changing. So as you can see, it is bunny theme this year. Take good walking shoes if you're planning to spend the day here. Whether you're looking for an adrenaline rush or a day of relaxing in the sun, Sentosa is bound to enchant and delight. The most happening is at the staircase connector between the theme park and the hotel. The place has the highest number of the bunnies. Another outstanding Chinese New Year decor at Resorts World Sentosa, Singapore. The rabbit year visitors can see bunnies everywhere from hotel lobby to the mall and outdoor park at Resort World Sentosa. The bunnies come in different colors, very colorful and with sunglasses, making the bunny look so hip and groovy. Now we are heading towards Palawan Beach, which is the most famous beach in Sentosa Island. 
Palawan Beach is one of several long and broad sand beaches located on the southwest side of Sentosa Island, a short drive or cable car ride from downtown Singapore. It is generally considered the most child and family friendly. After Palawan Island, connected to Palawan Beach by a chain link suspension bridge, the island is said to be the southernmost point of continental Asia. Palawan Beach is shaped like an archer's bow and made of two linked bays. Its deep pale sands slip into calm turquoise waters that are the ideal place for a lazy swim or to try your hand at water sports. Kayaking, stand up, paddle boarding and banana boat rides are all available. The Hydro Dash Water Park is also within sight. Finally, I must admit a quiet day at the beach, building sand castles and listening to the waves indeed was truly blissful. Behind you want to go in the water? Behind. Although we didn't stay on Sentosa, if you are here either visiting or staying, make time to travel on the cable car, plenty of stops to see more of the island on foot. Or just do the round trip as a relaxing way of sightseeing this tourist attraction. The nighttime views from the cable car are amazing and you can see the glittering skyline of Singapore and Sentosa. Overlooking the South China Sea was breathtaking. Singapore is actually one of the top tourist friendly places around the world. It also manages to give us a sense of satisfaction when we visit the Lion City. It has everything in there from the flora to the fauna, from art to science and many more. Who would not want to be the one to miss this lovely experience? The one view of panoramic Singapore will make you fall in love with it. This is a unique and immersive experience which is not to be missed.
Our day two ended with a rich experience of an unforgettable adventure in the skies on Singapore cable car. Until next time, take care.